Hi again, Doug here from X-Frames FPV, and today I've got another build-out video for you. Now, you saw this frame in our mailbox series, which kind of tells you what's coming up on the channel, but this is the build-out part. This is where I expect everything that's going to go into the build, and we talk about it. So what are we talking about for frames here? Well, this is the Neato 180. They call this a sexy beast because, I mean, it just the lines on it are absolutely gorgeous. And let's get a measurement. It is a three millimeter. Let me change that to sorry, change it to the wrong thing. It is a three millimeter bottom plate unibody construction. And since it's already built, we can get a weight on it. And you can't see that, so it doesn't do any good. 101 grams complete uh, for the frame. It is missing one screw for some reason, um, but that's not going to add anything to the weight. But this is a really gorgeous, well-built. I've built a few of these, and uh, they're just a really good, really nice and sturdy, even being three millimeter. You know, you've got, you can see here, there's a lot of material. And so it makes for a really nice and rigid, rigid frame. And being 180 size, this is going to be a four inch, I'm going to swing a four inch prop. So let's first get to the PDB. This is just a simple Maytag. I've already got it. Um, already got uh, tape on the bottom. I put tape on the bottom of all my ESCs just because I can. Um, it, it, you know, it kind of, it, if you have any issue with the component rubbing up against it, it's just a little another barrier. And I know everything on this side is the earth side, but um, it's just something that I do. Uh, this is a Maytech Micro PDB with 5 and 12 volts. And actually what we're going to do is this is just going to get um, double-sided tape down underneath the flight controller. And then you'll have the four standoffs around it. Um, we are going to run a single LED on these needles. I like to just run them right back here. And if you're doing line of sight, it gives you great orientation. And it also, um, when you're flying and you're in front of somebody, which is, um, it just adds a benefit of them being able to see you and not run into you when they're trying to pass or whatever. So VTX here, we've got the Tramp. This is the Tramp HV. And this one you actually can safely run between 6 and 18 volts. So you can run your 4S into this directly. You don't have to worry about um, spikes from the ESCs. This can take it. So uh, it's a really nice ESC. Um, you plug directly into it here and you run your 5 volts to your camera, which the camera we're running is a run cam or a pyro drone. I'm sorry, not run cam, pyro drone arrow. This has a built in OSD. And so it's a really, really great OSD system. Super simple. It's got a little plug that comes off of it, and you can actually mount that right inside your craft, and you can just push buttons and, and go to town on making changes. Um, this part here, this little added part, is for the wand so this has the ability with a wand you can just set what frequencies you know what channel you're on um, how many milliwatts you want to run because this is switchable and then you just run the wand over it and it changes it and that's great in a race setting but it's also nice as um, if you're sometimes flying with buddies and sometimes you're not so you can change your um, settings with, you know, from 200 to 600 are really simply. So, um, if you have one of those wands, this gets installed. If you don't, you just unplug that and you don't install that, uh, for the ESCs, you know, these are my go-tos. I love these Speedix ES twenties. These are BL, BL Heli S ESCs and really durable ESCs. Never had a problem once with these, never had any problems with these, um, desyncing or anything like that. So it's really, really great for motors. We're running the Hyperlite. These are the V2s. And so this is a 2205, really great motor. Come on, focus. 
for this setup. Now, if you see me running these a lot in four inch and that kind of thing, it's because I absolutely love the motors. Um, are they the fastest motor out there in the market? Well, definitely not. We're at 2206 is kind of the standard right now. Um, but I can tell you sometimes it's nice to build some number one on the four inch. You don't need a 2206. So your 2205 would definitely be, um, something you want to run. And, um, on, let me see here. Let me get this fired up. Okay, one of the things I wanted to show you here on these motors, and one of the reasons I still like them is, and still use them from time to time, is because they're nice and light. Twenty six point four grams, and uh, twenty a uh, twenty two oh six is going to be anywhere from the high twenty eights to thirty. Um, some of them are even above that, but I think the average is probably right around twenty eight twenty nine. And so you can save, you know, this is times four. You're saving, you know, between two and a half grams and three grams every side. So that's 10 to 12 grams. And when you're running, trying to get a build as light as you can with three millimeter arms. Oh, sorry, man, I'm making a mess today. With three millimeter arms and with, um, you know, everything being as light as it can. Adding a 2205 motor that's 26 grams can really, really make a difference. And in my opinion, the Hyperlite V2 is probably one of the best, if not the best, 2205 out there. So that's my two cents. Um, and so that's the build. I don't have the flight controller yet. If you're noticing that that's missing, um, I don't have that here yet. That's on its way. It was out of stock when I went to order everything. So this should be a fun build. It'll be a really good flyer. I've already built one with basically the same components and they just really durable, really fun. So thanks again, guys. I really appreciate you. Check out my website at xframesfpv.com and you can see kind of the builds that I do and prices and all that kind of stuff. So appreciate you. Hope you guys get some time to fly.